Welcome to day four. Let's start by reviewing what we've learned so far and just doing some Tai Chi together. Let's do hold the ball first. I'm going to turn and face the mirror and bringing your weight over to the right, having your right hand high, your left hand underneath, just hold that ball. And then step left, bring the weight all the way over to the left, and now the left hand is high and the right hand is underneath. As we switch side to side, I want you to consciously feel that weight coming over to this column, this outside column on the left, and then the outside column on the right. Keeping those columns straight, you're not shifting by letting your hip pop out or leading with your shoulder. Holding the ball. One more. Good. Now center your weight. Let your knees be soft. Feel the roots growing out deep out from under your feet. And let's do preparation. Have your hands in front. Bend those knees slightly and then let the arms float up. And let the elbows drop. Breathing in as you come up. Breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Even as we're going up and down, I want your columns to be straight. Don't be bending over and coming up like this. Keep your shoulders in harmony with your hips. One more. And now step out with that left foot and we'll come into pushing chi. And remember we want to move from the Dantian Remember, that's two inches in from the belly button, two inches down. And if we move from here, that's going to keep those columns intact. Shoulders are going to stay above the hips. So it's a little movement. It's not a big movement. Breathing in as you come towards your body. Breathing out as you push away. Now bring that left foot back, step out with your right. Remember that your stance should be wide enough that you feel stable. You don't want a narrow stance. Pushing Chi. One more. Good. Now let's do our chi walking. And again, I want you thinking about that water flowing from one leg into the next, your substantial and insubstantial leg. As we step out with the left, we're kind of testing the ice, and then we rock back. And now we trust that ice. We bring all the water into that left leg. Let the right leg become empty. And then we can step forward. Rocking forward. Rocking back. Now let all the weight come into that right leg. Don't lift that left leg until it's completely empty. Landing heel to toe. I want you to feel the ground with your foot. Let the left leg become completely substantial. Right leg is insubstantial. Rocking forward, rocking back. Bring all the weight onto that right. And step forward with the left. Remember with that substantial and insubstantial, understanding where your weight is, that's going to help improve your balance. So now let's move on and learn a move called wave hands like clouds. And today we're just going to learn the upper body part of wave hands like clouds. We do actually step with it, but we're gonna focus on what we're gonna do with our hands and upper body first. So with your left hand, I want you to draw a counterclockwise circle. Not a big, circle, but a little circle. Keep your hand 
kind of right about your chin level. Don't let it come up high and don't straighten the arm. Now, as you do this circle, right now we're just using our arms, but this is a principle in Tai Chi is rotation. If we rotate from the Dantian, we're actually going to help the body relax. So we rotate from the Dantian and we rotate on that central column. So those underlying principles come into play here with wave hands like clouds. If we move from here and just let that rotation take our arm across our body, our shoulders are now much more relaxed. That motion is being directed by the Dantian. One more. Good, then take your right hand and draw a clockwise circle. And we're gonna start with that movement, that rotation. Rotating on your central column. Let the Dantian start that motion and the arm just follows. Good, now we have to put those two together. So you're gonna take your left arm, start that counterclockwise circle, and let the right come across your body. And now look what happens. As my hands are on the side, they're just gonna switch positions. The left goes low, the right goes high, and now I come across my body here. Now they switch positions. Left is high, right is low. If I'm moving from the Dantian, it's almost like having a big ball, and we're just rotating that ball. Bring it across, rotate it, pull it across. Now as you're standing here, I want you to note, make sure your knees are not locked. We're not using our feet right now, but that doesn't mean that we can stand lock kneed like this. We want the knees nice and soft, Remember, we want that energy to be flowing. When you're practicing your wave hands like clouds, remembering the right hand goes this direction and the left hand goes counterclockwise. You can think about wiping your eyebrows. You're going to use your hand, but don't put your hand that close to your face. But the right hand goes in the direction of the right eyebrow. The left hand goes in the direction of the left eyebrow. So let's do that again. Start with the left, take it across your body by moving from the Dantian, and now to the right. Don't let your shoulders dip. Don't do this. That breaks your columns. Keep those shoulders level to the ground, keeping them in harmony with your hips. And good. So now tomorrow you get to learn how to step with wave hands like clouds. I'll see you then.